You guys feel that in the air? Yeah. E3's coming back. Welcome back. Almost three years to the day. Easy Achievers Almost. Gaming Podcast. This is a special E3. I've been, I'm going to talk about Alex about this one. You, you will already okay. know what this is called. This is a predictions, discussion, state of the industry... All in one type thing. So I don't have a word for it, but thank you so much for clicking on the video. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally across from me through the internet is, of course, as always, Alex. How you doing? How are you? I am good. Now we've talked to death about E3. Mm-hmm. One sentence. Are you excited? Yes. I'm also excited, so I'm mm-hmm. glad. Uh, a few weeks yeah. ago, I definitely wasn't. But the closer we get to it, the <laughs> more we get the picture of what E3 looks like this year, and the more excited I get. Yeah. So I'm getting I jived. I'm not going to lie. So I'm very excited. And I want to talk about this. So this is different from any time we've ever done this. We usually mm-hmm. just kind of have five predictions. And I, I would say, really, this started from other podcasts we listened to. We yeah. would listen to them and they always kind of had fun and did predictions um yeah kind of make it like a game or yeah you kind of like make it a game see who gets the most points see who gets a prediction right or wrong i'm not saying we're not going to do this in this episode i'm definitely not but i it's not going to be the center point of the episode we're going to talk about each major publisher um so that would be of course xbox playstation nintendo we're going to go through each studio they own and what they've been up to we're also going to Give our feedback or insight if we think we'll see something soon, or if maybe they might take a uh, seat back this year. Now, I wanted to start with Xbox because, I mean, come on. Yeah, we're the Xbox we got, we guys. Got, we, got we have to. We have to. I, I do think we know both Xbox and PlayStation very well, actually. But if I had to pick one, I think we do know more about Xbox, and we know the thought process. For sure, for sure. So let's start with them, Alex. Okay. Xbox First Party Studios mm-hmm. is getting more and more different by every year we pass. I mean, even the we look at last year's time, we had no idea what the Bethesda's going on. Um, even a year after that, we started learning about their expanding even more with things like Undead Labs and uh, Compulsion mm-hmm. Games. I mean, that was <clears throat> three-ish years ago, and then they bought Ninja Theory. So many purchases between now and then, so... Every year, we always get a new look into them, and, and, I'm, and I'm, that makes me even more excited for this year. So we're going to start with the big one, of course, 343, three. easy, Halo Infinite. Not much to say about this, in my opinion. We know we're going to see Halo Infinite. We know we're most likely going to yep. get a deep dive. I think this game is coming out this year. I yes, do not sure. think it's getting delayed again. I, no, it's not getting delayed. I think yeah, it's it going to come out. I don't think it can. I would be... I think if anyone would delay it again, it would be mm-hmm. Xbox because again, we it's it's a tired subject. But if anyone could afford it, they can. But yep. I don't think they will again. I th- I think yeah, I from what so. we've seen with screenshots, they they know how important this Halo game is, and it's probably been the most it's probably the most important game to Xbox since the first Halo, mm. which is ironic. It's the same game, <laughs> but. I think we're going to get a full multiplayer deep dive. I think we're going to understand what the story is of this game, but we're not going to know fully what's going on. I think we're going to understand, like, we're going to fight... I don't even remember their names anymore. Bad guys from Halo Wars 2 is what I'm going to call them. And, yeah, exactly. Mm. That tells you how much, you know, how long it's been. Bad guys from Halo Wars 2. I love Alex so much. But uh, but that's that's definitely where they're going, and I think we're gonna get a big multiplayer look, and they're going to announce if they the are. It, thank you, the banished. We're gonna look at the banished. We're gonna see that big guy that we saw at the end of the original Halo trailer, and we're gonna un- understand a lot about multiplayer. And I'm gonna put it to the bank, Alex. This is one of my predictions. Okay, they will say there's a Halo battle royale. We mm, know they've worked on mm, it. Mm. I know from insider people. I've told the industry. Numerous times, and no one believes me because they keep saying that one interview that guy gave that said the only BR in Halo is the battle rifle. 
I don't care. It is been worked on for sure. I know no, for a fact. Ne- now the now that's a different story. If it's going to release, I think it will. Okay, I, I think it will. This year. I think they will announce it this year. I'm hesitant to say okay. it's, I'm hesitant to say it's going to launch day and date. Do you think they're going to do a battlefield? Uh, what was it? The 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 firestorm thing that they did? They're like, well, we're showing it off, but it won't come out till next year. I won't be surprised if that's happened. I think they will announce it. Won't specifically say if it's coming with the game or not, mm. and leave it in the shadow. They are for sure making it. They are making a hail battle royale. Take it to the bank. At some point, it will release. We also got the details that this is Halo for 10 years. Let's really think about that. They said that mm-hmm. a long time ago. This is Halo for 10 years. We still don't really understand what that even means. Now, I'm thinking of Master Chief Collection-esque platform yeah. where this, ge- this game gets another game that you eventually add on to, and then the multiplayer is all one thing is what I assume. Alex, N- am I a crazy person? Uh, no. Now, do you think that it would be possible oh. for it to release before the game? No. Okay. I think they talked about this. Yeah, I'm not, sorry. I don't think. We know Phil mm. specifically said, we thought about releasing these two separately. We thought about releasing multiplayer first, building like an early access, and then game. releasing single player later. If they ha- if they didn't already do it, they're not going mm. to. They would if they wanted to do the early access thing. I I'll be honest. I think we already would be playing it right now if they wanted I don't to think do. So. That. I feel like they would have waited for E three because that's their always big thing, and they'll be like, "Oh, you can play it right now." Now that's pretty hot. Now you're getting me going. You gotta calm down. I don't want to. I don't want I mean, an early release, if you, you know, know what I mean, I'm saying, you know, on the I mean, screen. You know how, okay. I mean, yeah. All right. All right. I, I All right. said to their okay. early release. Okay. You know what I'm All right. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I respect that, Alex. I don't think yeah. you're completely wrong. And I, it's one of those things where we don't really know. This is kind of speculation. I, I think both of us are maybe kind of right. I think they, at one point, would have, if they wanted to do the split up thing, done it already. Mm-hmm. But it would be a perfect time to say beta soon. But yeah. I don't think they're in a spot. I think for that. We'll I think it's all hands on deck to make sure the game is ready, rather than mm-hmm. like get beta. I think I... there's gonna be a beta where it's not even a beta; it's just a multi multiplayer test. Because do you th- we use beta willy nilly? It's gonna be now, a multiplayer test at that point. Do you think that we'll actually see the gameplay for the battle royale at E3? Because I'm saying yes, and that was that was so, that was gonna be my prediction. That we will see the battle royale, and we're gonna be like, oh, now here's a here's a quick glimpse of it, and they're gonna show you, uh, like like the full like actual gameplay of them dropping off the pelican if that's what they are, and you you can either pick. I think it's gonna be people. You can be you can either be, huh? I think it's gonna be ODST hell drops. Oh, you talking about like the big? Okay, they're called hell drops. Yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be that. It'd be cool. But yeah, I mean, I would, like, um, I feel like they're gonna show it because I mean, I I keep wondering why are they showing Halo Reach people on the Bethesda Xbox cover for the that, E3? I no one's talking about this. Maybe I'm stupid. Like, why is something? Why is email there? Why is I think is Rook the rookie there from ODST? I, can't I remember. think the only person that looks like a Reach person is email. Everyone else just yeah. looks like nondescript Spartan, like people. a Spartan. Now, I don't know if <laughs> this is a left field. People who know Pops, mm-hmm. there are a bunch of different Pops. And now we know this game is supposed oh, to yeah. already have been out. Yep. But there are Pops of just random Spartan people. I saw that. So yeah, I'm I saw guessing that. this is going to do something with the multiplayer. I have no idea. I doubt I, these guys are in the game. Maybe they are. I feel I like don't know. I, I, want, I want to believe that Xbox is just going to be like... And Pops, if you not- don't know, are like little toys. Just, just so people... Yeah. And now they're going to do, they're going to go back to what we wanted. Somebody's going to walk out with their Elite 3 uh, controller. No, I'm just joking. Oh! Elite 2 controller and be like, all right, now we're going to deep dive sets. in to battle, to the, to the battle royale. And he just dives in and starts playing it. Alex, you're talking about a perfect world. And I would love that. COVID probably fucked a lot of this up. I don't I think we're seeing that. If we do, I will personally eat my words. I think. I think what I no, say is we definitely happen. won't see somebody go, coming onto the stage no. because I mean, well, it's there's not a stage. A, there's not a stage. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's the point. Aside the point. It's yeah, but I, I definitely think we're gonna see gameplay for that battle royale. 
Oh, God, I hope I'm wrong. Holy fuck, that is so hype. I think we're going to get a small glimpse to be like, and then this. And it's going to be like, Battle Royale, and it's going to end. Compulsion Games. If you don't remember them, they made um, We Happy Few. And now they're working on a new IP. This is apparently a mix between Bioshock and Uncharted. We don't know what it is yet. Phil Spencer did say this is his most excited for a game if he had to pick one. Interesting. Yes. Don't know anything about it. Um, Compulsion made We Happy Few. Please stay. That was the weird thing where it had a... It had um, early access. Okay, so it launched mm-hmm. 2018. That gives them... Th- uh, they could They could have something ready. It's not... No, they definitely could have. It's not crazy. That was. That is a kind of small team, though. As they're long not, as they don't have anything that they're trying to build from a whole new engine, then, I mean, it depends. They used Unreal 4 for We Happy Few. So, I mean, they okay. could use Unreal 4 for this as well. Because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, because it's a certain games, if they're trying to make from, you know, from a whole new engine, it takes about, like, well, at least five years. Like, well, remember, God yeah, of War they, took a whole new engine. It, well, it takes them a whole year to even figure out how to work it, you know? Yeah. That, and that's what makes people excited for... Since we're on the topic already, um, uh, the initiative, um, find them real quick. Yeah, the initiative. They said they're going to be working on, I'm sorry, not the initiative, uh, coalition. Thank you, Jesus. Coalition, sorry. yeah. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, the coalition, when they said they're going to start working on Unreal Engine 5 for the next gears mm-hmm. and a new IP, I mean, come on. Oh, Are you kidding me I with that? Wait. That's going to look amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing, Alex. I can't wait till we see some Unreal 5, dude. Oh. Remember, I keep thinking, I keep going back to that uh, demo trailer of that uh, girl flying through the desert and all the debris is flying through her and stuff. Really quick, Remember I that? didn't, I didn't specify. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Alex. Really quick, this no, is no. A, the, what I'm reading from is a mix between my own things I know and a mix between a, a fucking amazing Reddit guy I found from gaming leaks and rumors by who is this? Jesus Christ, Stavros <laughs> Zaras. <Oops. laughs> okay. I think I said that, and I'm pretty sure I didn't slay a slur. So it's weird because I feel like I know the word. Is it Stav? It's Stavro sounds familiar. I don't know what that's I don't from. know, but this is a combination of information I know and information I gained for this. He had a really great platform, so I essentially got his write down and put in my own stuff. So just so everyone knows, don't want anyone mm-hmm. to be like, "Oh my god, that's my stuff." But mm-hmm. Double Fine is the next one. We know they're bringing Psychonauts two, and we know that they have some sort of unannounced thing. But we're they're talking about Psychonauts too. I wouldn't be surprised if they sh- either drop it from there live on Game Pass that day, or if it's hey next month Psychonauts two's out because mm-hmm. they had to delay it if you remember. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're not big Double Fine guys, so we don't have much to say about this. But I think uh, yeah. I think I've we're getting. Really, I've never really played. I think it's the perfect so game to say out now. Game Pass, go buy. Yeah. Um, in Exile. Um, someone teased new RPGs, uh, rumored to be working on an FPS RPG with a AAA budget, something like a follow game. Uh, and there's a second game in pre-pro, but that's super early. Something, it's most likely another Wasteland. This is the people who made the Wasteland games. Um, there's like three of them. Uh, Mojang, Minecraft. We're going to get probably some sort of look at Minecraft. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, sure. We know that they're looking in new spin-off type games like Dungeons. I don't think we'll mm-hmm. get anything soon but i think we're getting minecraft ninja theory this is what i want to talk to you with alex first off mm. probably if they play their cards right one of the marquee xbox studios um that can really make xbox a big deal in the game now of course they had hellblade mm. which me and alex liked kind of <laughs> like yeah it's okay we, i enjoyed what i played i just never yeah. went back to it i got about halfway through I love the I love like the feel and atmosphere of the game, yeah. but for some reason I don't know. I think it's the gameplay, which which is hilarious. I think it's the gameplay that I don't like. I I don't know. Yeah, but, like I love it and I hate it. But they did say they uh were making this in Unreal Five. Their project Project Mara. We haven't seen much about that. We saw that dev diary thing they did where they talked a little bit about Hellblade, and then they showed Mara and they showed like their recreation of like their what was it like a a staircase that they made in the game that was like in the near their mm. office and it like looks photorealistic Photo real, yeah and then there's a third project called insight project and it creates quote self-contained individualized and absorbing game experiences end quote we have no idea what that means so there's that means. yeah there's 
not two things that we have no idea what they are. Um, we might, we're going to see more of Hellblade 2. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a release year of next year. Mm-hmm. But I doubt it. I don't think we will. But I, mm. but I think there's a chance. Maybe like like or like spring or like early. I don't know. I don't. I mean, if they make another small game, definitely spring. Like Hellblade One is not a long game. It's very linear too, so I'm, you don't have to worry about large environments. But so if this is like Hellblade One, I feel like mm-hmm. you can do a pretty quick turnaround on a second project, yeah. especially if you can you know reuse some assets. I have and, a feeling uh, Xbox is going to try to do this thing. Because people were always like, oh, where are your, you know, big games and stuff like that? Or where are those games at? I feel like they're going to try to do one big game every quarter. I think it's guaranteed. Yeah. Once they get, once they got everyone firing on all cylinders, Mm -hmm. they have 23 studios. That's not a small amount of studios, everyone. Like, what is is it? uh, Winter, well, fall to winter is Halo. Spring, Hellblade. Summer could be Forza. Oh, yeah. We're getting Forza. Yeah. I think we're getting, I think there's a chance we get Forza this year. No, I think I think so too. But I mean, speaking of Forza, example. Playground Games, mm-hmm. there's two teams, and we know that turn for 10? sure. Uh, turn is ten it? is um uh, is another studio. The, the, those are the motorsport people. Oh, that, that's right. That's yeah, right. That's Playground right. Games makes Horizon. Horizon. Um, yeah. We are getting the newest solid. The rumor is it's in Mexico, and we we will either get it at the end of this year or the beginning of next. There were some rumors saying either end of this year or next. I completely believe mm-hmm. them. Um, and the yeah. second team we know is, of course, working on Fable. So mm. we do not see anything of Fable. If we do, it is CG nonsense, and I am not here for that. <laughs> I want to see gameplay. Which they got probably none of. We, no, no. They're busy. Let them work. Don't bring them here. I don't want to see Playground. Mm. I want to see Playground make Horizon if they have that ready. And I, and I think it's a lock we're getting Horizon. I'm not even making that a prediction because it's easy. But we're mm. getting her, the next Horizon game here. Coalition, we already talked about. They're making a new IP and they're um, next gears in Unreal. Uh, I assume, isn't it? Yeah, they're making Gear Six in Unreal and they're making a new yeah. IP also on Unreal Five. Mm-hmm. Rare. So Sea of Thieves is to to even my my surprise still going Dude, on, which I am still, not, which I there's a big I, fan base for and that. that. And yeah, I'm not saying that disparagingly. Massive respect to oh, Rare. Yeah. I would have said that game would have been dead within months. It's like that, dude, it's that like game no is huge. That, like, there's a huge community for that, dude. I'm so happy for them. I am so happy. No, I sure. I thought Rare once upon a time I thought Rare was gonna be closed, like for sure. Mm-hmm. I thought Rare was gone. Like yeah. after Sea of Thieves, I'm like, oh, it's gonna suck when we get the <laughs> the thing that says they're closed. Hey, kudos mm-hmm. to them, man. They they pulled through. They made a great game. That game is awesome. I love playing that oh, game when we have some free time. Amazing. It look. I love that art style. I remember at first dogging on that art style. Like it looks so bad. I didn't like it. Like, and then the when you play it, like it looks amazing. fantastic. It looks so fantastic. It's a perfect yes. screenshot game when you're standing on mm-hmm. like the ship and you're looking. Oh. The music when you're on the ship. Yes, oh. that's so fun. Me and Alex have so much fun just sitting there playing music. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yep. Um, and then we got attacked by that megalodon. Jesus. Oh, Tor- yeah. we, we almost got him but we got to tore up ever wild mm-hmm. remember this game yes yeah so we got that, that weird pokemon not pokemon but you know i it. know what you mean it does have yeah, a yeah. animal it, like those, it, it looks like, like creatures all around you that you're taking care of it, it looks, looks like, like you control creatures in some aspects yeah i agree um we saw a little bit uh, there's no, nothing about it. we don't know anything about it um so there's a rumored third game that rare is working on but that's just a rumor um, Everwild, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bit about it. Who hey, here's a perf- here's a small perfect snippet. Dark? Perfect Dark. Um, that's who I was thought that, uh, the initiative. Isn't that rare? No, no, no initiative. Oh, okay. Initiative. That's that's what okay. the initiative was working on. Remember, they created them specifically to make AAA uh, projects. No. That's in Santa Monica. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure. I think it's in Santa Monica, in uh, California. That's... If you want to double check, yeah. Speaking of initiative, we brought them up on you there. Yeah. Oh, I. Uh, uh, sorry, they're composed of people from Sony Santa Monica. Maybe that's what I'm thinking per- of. Perfect Dark was made by Rare before, like the first. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I apologize. I thought you meant the one who currently were making the Perfect Dark game. Gotcha. Rare has made the Perfect Dark one and the one for Nintendo 64. It's Perfect yeah. Dark Zero, I think is what it's called. Yeah, 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 it is Zero. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I crossed Maybe, my wires yeah. there. Um, um, there was another game I was literally about to 
um i'll think about it just keep going okay um initiative i don't have too much to say about perfect dark we got like a basically a reveal that the game is being made and that's it similar to like fable i don't think we're Mm -hmm. seeing anything aside from if they do it's going to be again another cg thing so i don't think we're seeing it Mm -hmm. now you said there was a third game that Breer was working on i don't think we don't know what it is it's rumored do you think it could be banjo could be i don't i don't like a new like a whole new banjo I, I played him when I was little, but I'm not in that space. So people I don't like know Banjo. Much I'm not one of yeah. them. I don't know many people who do, aside from a couple internet friends. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be shocked, if I'm being honest, if if they were like, hey, there's a new Banjo game coming. Um, we're super excited. Um, everyone at Rare loves Banjo. We want to go back and try and figure out. I mean, mm-hmm. Microsoft doesn't really have a platformer. I mean, you really want to get a platformer out there because, first off, Nintendo is eating everyone's lunch with any game they bring out that has Mario or Donkey Kong on it. Second, now you have Astrobot. Now, PlayStation is now destroying you with Astrobot and mm-hmm. Little Big Planet. So you have to at least have something in that market for that kind of family friendly thing that, that platformers generally give you. I think Banjo Kazooie, mm-hmm. perfect for that fit. Now, we're yeah. not seeing that game probably for another four or five years. So yeah, I, it's not and, even point real worthy. I feel yeah, like because they're saying it, it's, a, they're like, it's a good time for it. But it's like literally, it's up to rare if they want to do it because it's either a Banjo Kazooie or a Conquer. I don't think we're made. I don't think they. Can I don't think they'll do Conquer, but I know. Oh. Ba- I definitely think Banjo. There's a chance. Um, turn ten. Turn ten makes the Forza Horizon games. They, I think they're taking a break. Motorsport. Oh, I got it. yeah. I got a, I, I, got, I, I did exactly what you did. My, sorry, mm-hmm. they make the Motorsports game. I think mm-hmm. they are making Motorsport games though. So. Mm-hmm. Undead Labs. State of Decay 3, Alex. There's actually... A... All this is still Xbox Studios. Oh, yeah. We're still going. <laughs> we're still, still going. Xbox. Um, yeah, so Undead Labs. We only saw that one trailer with the deer and it's snowing and all that. And, it, you know, remember it had, like, all zombified deer stuff. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I'm hoping... Uh, bro, I'm we'll really hoping we we'll see something. See, we'll see it. You think we'll so? We'll see gameplay. Yes. You think it was the gameplay? Ooh, yes. that would get me excited. That would get yes, me really so we, excited if we yes, see gameplay. So we we will see gameplay of State of K three. I I feel I feel it in my bones. Ooh, you gonna put a prediction and, behind and... that? <sighs> gameplay in a in a release year? I feel like that's what you're saying to me. It's gonna be available fall on Game Pass. This fall? Yep. You're smoking crack, but I want some of it. <laughs> I want some of it. <laughs> I hope it is. Of course, it's on Game Pass, but you know he was yeah, adding no, that for sure. some flavor. I just, I just want to see what happens, you know, because it, it, there's a fifty-fifty chance I can get this right. Sure, that's and, how a chance works. Yeah, fifty-fifty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, Elijah and I do this thing. Whoever gets the most, you know, no, uh, what's it called? Uh, points. The most right. Yeah, yeah. yeah steak yeah, dinner. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, steak dinner. Steak dinner. Steak dinner. World's Edge. World's Edge. This is the Who's Age that? of Empire people. Oh, remember okay. Age of Empire? They purchased these people. Yes. Oh my god, I don't remember three years ago, I think, or no, four years ago. I think this is when they bought a bunch of started buying everybody. I think yeah. I think this is when they (laughs) bought Compulsion. God, it's been so long, but I'm pretty sure it was around then. Um and apparently they're making um Age of Empires four, I think. Mm. Big boys, Alex. Big boys. Bethesda Game Studio. Ooh wee. I mean, oh. it's Bethesda <laughs> games, Elder Scrolls, Starfield. I mean, they could be they, they could be co making we, some things, but of course, we're only talking about Starfield. We will see Starfield. Oh, it's guaranteed. It's on the poster, yeah. so we're seeing Starfield. We're gonna get a deep dive. Mm-hmm. The rumor was it was going to release the end of this year. COVID apparently mm-hmm. messed everything up. It will now be mm-hmm. uh, fall of next year. Is what I they was said. Gonna say. Fall of next year, I feel like. I would have been re- very surprised if they actually did release it this year because of Halo. And see, I don't think they That's want two I don't, giant. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think they want the clash. Giant games clashing against mm-hmm. each other again. There are very different. I just, but still, mm-hmm. though, like, why would you I, like even I said, want? want I, like I said, I think they want one big title. Want some every, every 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 three months. I you got three that. months for Halo, three months for Forza, yep. three months for Starfield. You look really good in your quarterly earnings. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, Alex Starfield, what do you think we see? I think we get it. I think we get a kind of meaty deep dive. I think I have a feeling this, like we said, it's gonna be. Mo- I feel like it's gonna be this show is gonna be based on Starfield. Now. Will we see at the beginning, middle, or end? I feel like we're going to see it at the very smack at the beginning. Uh, 
you begin with Starfield and with Halo. I've oh, I like it's, that. It's it's either that or or swap it. Or but swap think, it. You could swap it. I too, think yeah. it would be the way we said ends with Halo and with what we wanted to see, because I feel like if we if they do it at the very beginning, people are gonna be like, okay, I I came what I wanted to see. Now I'm leaving. They yeah, want to keep it to the end. True. That's true. That's true. So I feel like they either they keep her at the beginning or at the end for Starfield, and I feel like like you said. Oh, now here is Starfield. You're doing this. You're doing that. I don't know if we'll see like a lot of gameplay, but they are definitely going to explain what it is. I think we're going to get a gameplay and it's going to be very specific. It's not going to be like free. I feel like we're going to get a crazy ass cinematic with some explanation. Mm. Possibilities. Id. Id Software. They make Doom. Mm. Um, the they're apparently working on some new IP. We don't know what it is. I do not think we'll see anything. They just made Eternal, and they just finished with their DLC. Do mm -hmm. not think we get anything Imagine from them. Id I making accidentally... a Resident Evil game. That would be really different because it'd be like super be crazy. fast. Yeah, it'd be crazy. I actually skipped somebody, and it just hit my mind that I did. Mm. Obsidian. Mm. Obsidian. I completely skipped Obsidian. So these are Outer Worlds that... too. <sighs> calling it. I'm calling it. No, we're not. We're not. You don't think so? Oh my god, that'd be so. You don't think so? Good. Oh, it was so cool. Either... They did. They just look, released DLC. Look, so I do you don't know if they will. New Vegas or give you Outer Worlds because I never. I played a little bit Outer Worlds, so I can't say I'm a fan. So I have to play it. But it, from what I played, I did enjoy. So apparently this game this studio is working on five count of five different projects mm -hmm. um i did not know any of this so this is straight from their reddit okay. uh so there's chris parker's team is on avowed mm -hmm. which is the skyrim game that we saw yep. and adam brennick's team is working uh towards um the grounded game that we played alex with uh honey yes. i shrug the kids whatever yes yes yeah, the big spider scary thing Tim Kane's working on an unannounced game, and it's probably Outer Worlds 2. Josh Scheuer's team is creating a new unannounced game. Brandon Adler's team is also creating a new unannounced game. This team is... Uh, so this is this is being compared to um, Insomniac, essentially, where like they're making like an insane amount of projects. Jesus, they're making five different projects, dude. They, you know how... First off, five different projects... If two of those games are good, that's impressive. If you're able to make five yes. different projects in one studio, of course they're probably getting help from other co creators who are who are like have some free people. But mm -hmm. good lord, man, I, that is incredible! If that's they insane. actually release those games and they're good, because like management is fantastic if they can get that through. Arcane. In a in a weird window we have with Arcane, we have Deathloop coming, which is a PS5 timed exclusive, which is hilarious. Um, but. <laughs> Mm. I was gonna say we would not see Dishonored. No, 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 no. They're they're busy with with. Uh, I'm saying Deathloop, like I think that I think that's done. But there is a rumor that they're making a vampire game. Hmm. So that so they're making a a, a type, like just some vampire game. We don't know much about it, and that's a rumor, hmm. of course. Sorry, I should have prefaced this at the very beginning. A lot of this is rumors. Is what I'm saying. Some are more concrete than others, but. Hmm. You know, you can not believe anything I say or believe everything and live in happy land with that where with me. But but uh yeah, I think we I mean we do we see Deathloop? Good What do you think? I mean it's a timed exclusive, so like no, right? It's <laughs> like I don't know. Movie. Would you I, I guess you want to show it off, you want to make the game so honestly, I don't think they're gonna show much of it because how much of they showed in it already. And at this point, to me, every time I see it. I'm more like it's whatever, dude. Uh, I I, think I they're gonna, I'm inclined I just to agree, but just I actually agree. With fast you. a fast thing for it, like a little fast reel. I'm like, all right, get it. Uh, it'll come out next year, all right? Next. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know, I wish I could say I disagree, Alex, but I completely agree with you. I, I just the more I seen, see, dude, I'm like, eh. we've seen a lot of this game, and it's like I've seen the whole game. I, I it does kind of feel that way. I I can't disagree with the fact, like, yeah, I kind of am not excited for it anymore. Which I, I mean, mm -hmm. which is I guess sad to say. I, hopefully the game comes out and I get that excitement back. But yeah, back, if yeah. if I do see a trailer, that would probably be a a drink break. You know what I mean? You know what I mean mm -hmm. by that? It's like, oh, it's Deathloop. 
out. Let okay. me go grab something to yeah, eat go grab or something. Grab, grab a drink. Yep. Smoke crack. You know what? You, you know whatever your vice is. Still talking about how like that you're being still followed. Remember, by you die and come back. Did you know what that was? About? That was in the game. You die and then you come back. Mm -hmm. You die, then you come back. And then they, they just show keep that saying that over and over again. Yeah. Like, More pride to you, Arcane. I love you. I love you. Don't please, please don't take it personally. Tango Game Works. They make Evil Tango. Within, and they are making Ghostwire Tokyo, another PS5 exclusive, <laughs> timed exclusive. Um, but uh, I, I don't even okay. know what the game is, if I'm being honest. So I don't really have much to say about this. I'm excited to see more. I wouldn't be shocked if we don't see it. I, I, I could. It would make more sense for PlayStation to show this off whenever they can, because it is a timed exclusive. A little mm. awkward that now the timed exclusive is with Xbox, which is hilarious that this happened. But yeah, uh, but yeah I, I don't have too much to say. Do you, Alex? I know you liked the aesthetic a lot when it was announced. Are you for, what was it? Ghostwire, Ghostwire Tokyo? Tokyo? Yeah, it looks, it looks uh, neon, I'm getting too, very... Ghostwire Tokyo, because yeah, I yeah. forget I'm getting too mixed up. So let me see. Which That's one fine. Is Take one. your time while you're doing that. Machine games. Not too much to say about this. We know that they're making a new Wolfenstein game. Um, that's likely uh, that they're making a new Wolfenstein oh, game. Oh, interesting. And then they are, of course, making the Indiana Jones game. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. That was like just stealthily announced with uh, in cooperation with um uh, the Lucasfilm projects uh, that they're making. Oh, We're getting this uh, game. Yeah. 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 I'm I'm excited, but I think they showed a little bit more gameplay of this game, and it 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 looked very like weird. Yeah, I I definitely see what you mean. Was um, this the it one definitely where, looks... like these weird like the darkness creatures yeah. things that came up? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this was the I'm interested because I've always liked the whole Japan Tokyo like like aesthetics of the world. You know, I like that. I like I like that. Um, that environment but like i don't i want to know what it's about because i hope that because for some reason when i when i was watching the gameplay it looked very linear so it's like oh corridor to corridor like it's not it doesn't look open to it, me. and i and i think alex i really agree with this because it it, it literally looks linear like literally there's hallways and like you mm -hmm. go down different hallways and hallways and just yeah and i don't like that so it, it definitely was like all right, is this like this is like super I'm, at first I'm like, oh, can I? You're in Tokyo because can I explore Tokyo? I mean, like that would be cool. That would be cool. I, we don't have enough games in Tokyo, might be. I, yeah. I would love more games set in not America. Mm -hmm. Um, we, uh, machine games. Uh, we don't see anything, right? I mean, they really, they literally announced that they were making it, so I don't think we see literally machine anything. Games again, game. remind me again. Uh, Indiana Jones. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think no. we see anything. Maybe if if because we got the teaser last time, right? Uh, we maybe get a trailer. That maybe? was last year around Game Awards. Yeah, it sounds right. It was, was like announced on Twitter, like just randomly, and it had the Indiana Jones hat, and it says painting over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we'll get a trailer. We could. I don't think we'll. I don't. Even, right. I don't think they even mentioned the game. Hmm. Could be. Zenimax Online, of course, Elder Scrolls Online. I don't think I know or have any idea what they're doing mm -hmm. over there. I know they're, of course, developing on their MMO that they have working. Mm -hmm. And I think there's rumors that they have stuff in development, but I don't know anything, and I haven't heard anyone talk about them. Hmm. Uh, last two, Alpha Dog and Roundhouse. These are very small studios. Um, I do not know what Alpha Dog... I think Alpha Dog made... Um, Fallout Shelter. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's Alpha Dog. What studios you said? It just is called Alpha Dog, I believe. Um, uh, that's a movie, so don't want that. Yeah, no, it's a it's a mobile gaming company. Uh, let's see. It maybe I think because there's Bethesda, it looks like it's close to them, so I think it could have been uh Fallout Shelter, like you said. Pretty sure they may foul it. Pretty probably. Alpha Dog working on a Doom mobile game, Mighty Doom. Yes, yeah, that's the rumor. I believe that they're making mm -hmm. some sort of Doom game. Yep. And then Roundhouse. What's Roundhouse? Another movie. So I have to make sure to put studios in this one. <laughs> 
Uh, they were made um, in 2019. While you look for that, Alpha Dog is known for the real-time strategy game Monstro City Rampage and the action role-playing game Wraithborn, which are available on Apple and Android devices. Mm. And they then recently they did work on Fallout Shelter and Elder Scrolls Blades. All we know is they're working on unannounced projects. Got they it. were open last year, so I mean they're a brand new. Oh, studio. they're brand new. So brand let's new. see what they bring to the table. Very excited to see them. Very excited. Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's all for first party. Mm -hmm. They also had a little fun second party thing down here. Um, let's let's go quick. Let's go quickly over this. Uh, a Sobo. These people who made a Plague's Tale. They are working towards uh, the newest flight simulator on console, so they're basically mm, porting. They're porting nice. for them right now. I definitely want to try that. I don't, but I will watch you play it. <laughs> IO cool. Interactive. They of course are making Hitman. Apparently, that, but because I know we know they're working on a James Bond game, but they apparently mm -hmm. partner with Xbox to make something called Project Dragon. Interesting. New, it's a new AAA online multiplayer game. I, all right, cool. Interesting. Avalanche. Um, Are these second party, you said? Second party, yeah. Got it. Um, second party, of course, is a layman's turn. This doesn't mean anything. Uh, we use this to determine like studios that really only work for a specific publisher, but not yep. specifically owned with them. Some uh, Things like, in, that used to be Insomniac is what you would always save for this, because Insomniac no, yeah. never, never worked with anyone else until Sunset Overdrive. Mm -hmm. But of course they were purchased. So now I feel like the easiest one is um Blue Point. Um Blue Point really only works yes. with PlayStation, not owned by PlayStation. So they're uh, like the a rem second party. You never really see the their games right? on Xbox. Mm -hmm. Yep. Made yep. Shadow of the Colossus, of course. Uh mm -hmm. it's their biggest game. Um Avalanche Studios is uh yeah, Project Dragon. Um and those were the most notable ones, I wonder. Yep. Oh, that's for Xbox, Alex. I, I'm pretty excited. What do you think? It, there's a there's a lot to show. Twenty three studios. That's a lot of projects, did, and especially they, if some of them are working I, on two, that's quite exciting. I know they brought the schedule out for e uh, for they E three. Um, does it say how long the conference is going to be? I don't think so. Let me see. Yeah, ch check for me. Um, I, so I, let's because if it says it's like an hour, I'm like, ooh, everything's crunched up. So that's a strong point yeah let's see how long it is um here let's see i really do feel like they haven't said i know they gave a time for when it started but i don't think they've mm. said how long it is yet you would assume an hour and a half one like would minimum. assume right assume minimum because you have all of xbox and Thes to talk about but again that's a lot of time so, that's a lot of time for games so microsoft and bethesda game showcase it says 10 a.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Eastern. We're going to go Eastern since that's what's here. Uh, so we're 1 p.m. Eastern, and then Square Enix is after that at 3.15. So that's two hours and 15 minutes apart. So, so what? Okay. Most likely so at least, have... I, would, I would say an hour and a half. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Like I an think hour and a half, and then they have like 30 yeah. minutes before the next one starts. After this, I'll call Phil up. I'll, let you, I'll, tell, you, I'll tell you what he says. Mm-hmm. Alex, we're moving on, uh, unless you have any parting thoughts for Xbox. I think Xbox is up it's... for a very strong E3. I think they yeah. have the dice in their corner. I think if they play their cards right, I know that I'm not trying to hype anyone up. I'm being honest here. I think this could be their best E3 ever if they mm -hmm. do this to, to the books and they don't mess anything up. What do you think? I I agree. I th I'm ho I am very excited because I feel like they have a lot to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. I just hope that a lot of it is not one of those like underwhelming you're like you see it and you're like underwhelmed you're like oh really like like they could have done better so i'm hoping they just bring it all for for coming back to e3 i feel like they need to go all like all, all there's a fine line between fine. perfect amount mm -hmm. and way too much fine too line much, yeah fine, fine line you don't want to stick on something too long because then we start getting bored you also don't want to go mm -hmm. too fast because we want our we want questions answered so like there's like a fine line between like too much and not enough. So like oof. To, to be a director of one of those. To be fair, I feel like the Xbox one is probably gonna be I feel like it's gonna be like two hours because it says Xbox Bethesda. Yeah, so it does I specifically like, say yeah. Xbox Bethesda. 
So I feel like they they have to split it Who up. Who knows? So, I'm very excited. Two hours, man. Oh I'm god! Chilling. If I don't know if it is, but if it is, Jesus, hey, that's a long time. Hey, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit there with my popcorn. Oh, have my daughter. You want to know a crazy food. rumor? I'm gonna tell everyone this rumor. Believe oh, me or, or not, who cares? <laughs> tell me. Battlefield Five is being shown. We know this. Easy, easy to say that, right? Battlefield Five six. six. Sorry, Jesus. I keep forgetting five even exists. Six. Yeah, yeah. Battlefield 6 is going to be announced June 9th. Yes. It's going to be shown June 13th at Xbox conference. It's going to be also announced for Game Pass. This is a huge rumor right now, and I fucking believe it. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I believe it. I, I don't know why. I 100% believe, believe it. Imagine fucking Battlefield on Game Pass. That would like, be such like, a smart move. Like, like that's going to literally conflict, I, th- I feel like, with Call of Duty. And now, if depends on with Warzone, did you, Warzone's um, free to play. So yeah, I mean, yeah, like, it it's, yeah. Did you see the leaked screenshots? I did not. Ooh, if you want Let's, to, you can look it up very quickly if you'd like. Just see. put Battlefield Five leaked screenshots uh, Discord if you want to, and it will show you the leaked screenshots. Achievers, if you want to, you can also do this. I'll be honest with you. If you picture Battlefield Four in your head and make it pretty, mm. that's about what the screenshots are. Not too much crazy stuff, really. Um, it, back it, to modern. It looks like Battlefield. I will say that. That's that's it's, what it looks back, like. So it's, it's back to what it wants yeah. to be. Yeah. Oh, is that the, is it the picture of the helicopter and the and the guns? Like, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. It looks like almost reloading. Yeah. It it looks it like l- Battlefield. Looks 3, like Battlefield, Battlefield 4. Four. It does. It does. It makes me excited, and I do believe the rumor about Cape Bass. I the do. map looks close, similar. Yeah. I think there's a. Never mind. Sorry, I don't want to. Never mind. It, it I, looks, I think I think like there's it. a rumor that there's a star wars game being made by somebody mm. i don't See remember where so i don't want to say mm-hmm. because i don't remember and i want to spread false information you know sony mm. alex you ready to talk about sony <sighs> they're not even there why good point we're skipping sony i'm no, just kidding santa <laughs> monica studios we all know who they are god of war Ragnarok will not be shown. I don't think. I think they w- they will show a trailer if they make a E three yeah. thing. I could see a trailer um showing nothing. If we remember when God of War originally was shown off, it had that kind of CG esque trailer where it's like the Kratos like walks out like boy, <laughs> and he, like he's like I want deer. Like I could oh, kind of yeah. see something like that. Like, you just, well, you just see the literally the kid just playing, the, and you just see him yeah. walk up out of the shadows. Boy, boy. hungry. And everything's where, like, where do I find yeah. the? Where do I go? In the go direction of deer. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> Kratos is awesome. Yeah, he's yep. a, uh, also, they have a um, rumored sci-fi IP. Don't know what it is. Cory Balog wants to make the game whatever it is. He was very excited. He. The rumor is, guys, we're getting crazy here. Sit down. Enjoy. Get some popcorn. Pop, pop some popcorn for me. Apparently, Cory Balog. He's not working on this God of War. He is devoting most of his attention to the sci-fi game. I'll be very curious to see if that's true. Which is very be curious. Meaning the sci-fi game is going to be fucking amazing. This God of War. Oh my God, Alex. Skeptical. Oh, Alex. I don't think Car Barlog is I, the I, one that's... I, I feel like he's going to put hand, put into the hands like of maybe of the co-writer or something of God of War. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, hey, I'm going to let you run the show on this one. I'll Chain- watch you. Shannon Sunseal was his second in command, but she left for oh, mm. uh, Google Stadia, which, Shannon, I'm sorry. Um, not to be mean, of course. Which is crazy because, I mean, yeah, I like I remember, I don't know if you ever watched the Raising Kratos. Yeah, of course. Uh, thing. Yeah, I think they, that was her. they were, she, yeah, she was going through a rough time. Well, yeah, yeah, through, she... yeah, but I'm like, I'm like, eh, they should, she should have worked on this one, man. I wish she would have stayed. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, she can make her own decisions. But... Am I remembering this correctly? She went to Sadia, what? right? I want to make sure I'm not wrong about this. What's her name? Shannon Studsteel. S-T-U-D. Yes, she did. Jesus. She's okay. a studio director. Again, sorry, Shannon. That didn't work out for you. Again, I mean, not to be mean. But What is Stadia? It's dead. It's definitely dead. They're really, saying it's not, but oh well. It's, it's, 
Sorry, sorry, everyone that really was excited. That's not working out. And I don't want to say we called it, but we called it. Guerrilla Games. Um, of course, Horizon. Uh, we don't know mm -hmm. what else. Um, we know that they... All right, Alex, I'm going to tell you a little secret, and also I'm going to tell the Achievers a little secret. If oh, you sorry. ever want to know what a studio is working on, go to LinkedIn and see who they've recently hired. He will always tell you what game they're working on. Do you know why? Because they recently hired a bunch of Rainbow Six Siege people. So that means mm -hmm. they're making a tactical um, shooter. shooter. Mm -hmm. There you go. If you ever want to know what a Sue is working on, Achievers, indeed, indeed, whatever they use, um, LinkedIn, all that stuff is going to get you everything you want to know. Some um, people are looking at them, they're like, oh my God. And I will literally... <laughs> stake my life on this they're making socom guaranteed yeah. guaranteed you do not well, hire rainbow so six siege like people to not make socom they gorilla games is making socom yeah take it to the bank i'm gonna post i'm gonna put a note here we're linking this out we're putting it to twitter if everyone hates me for the rest of my life sure fuck you all right insomniac games uh of course making ratchet and clank rift apart spider-man 2 easy alex these are easy ones. I don't think we have anything to talk you about with these last. Yeah, I mean, Insomniac, like Spider-Man Two, I'm, Ratchet and Clank. So right? I have a. F it's probably. Oh, whoa, where are we going? I so, like it when I don't know where you're going, Alex. Where are we go? So you probably do because they recently bought either the bought the IP or gained the IP of this game, Sunset Overdrive. No, okay. you don't think they're gonna work on two? No, they're not. You don't think so at all, <laughs> Alex? Do you remember how much Spider-Man sold? The first Spider-Man game. Yeah. Do you remember how much I mean, they sold? I, I mean, they I'm sold not saying that not, a million not, jillion units. They look, don't that, give a look, shit about I'm, Sunset Overdrive. Look, I'm not saying that they're not going to work on Spider-Man. They're going to work on that. And I'm sure they have plenty of people to be like, hey, you guys work on Spider-Man? We might look, we'll Hello? look yeah. try this Insomniac out. Games? Oh, Alex is a fucking idiot? Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> Alex, mm, they're okay. not working on Sunset Overdrive. Okay, eat my words when I when it comes. Alex, up. I first off, that would be me eating my words. So I I, don't, I wouldn't eat your words. That's not how that saying goes. <laughs> but I will eat my words if they make a sunset over at true. I will. Then well, why did PlayStation take the IP? I will lick this. I don't know. Uh, what? Why did PlayStation take the IP? Because why not? They probably got it for nothing. I mean. When, really, if they walked to, if if they had to buy that, which I don't honestly remember how that worked, mm -hmm. it cost them what ten hundred thousand dollars. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. They probably got it for nothing. What is the Xbox gonna do with it? Make it Sunset Overdrive two? Come on. The, the whole point of the reason the game was good is because it made by Insomniac. I, I love getting fired up. Thank you so much. We'll Alex. see. Thank you so we'll much. I, dude, happens. I would love to be wrong. I fucking love that game. That is one of the most. Oh, God. I'm gonna say it. All right. Mm -hmm. everyone was upset because of rise and and it was cool to not like xbox one back in the day sunset overdrive is one of the most underrated games to ever release fucking period mm -hmm. also rises <laughs> no it's not so but, but what, it was yeah because it was in 2019 when they 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 got the ip yes this year in May, they registered the <laughs> trademark for it. Yes, companies do this, so they always have the IP and they register the trademark to keep these things alive. Is, is how mm. I use it. I don't know what the terminology is, but it I say they cool. keep these IP and, and trademarks alive, so mm. they have an active base to pull from when they eventually want to make one. Mm. These things happen but, all the time. But Remember when they happen. trademarked Scalebound? Yeah, let's look. Where where's that Scalebound game that was trademarked like in 2010? Like uh, it's not happening. It, it, <laughs> it's not happening. It wasn't 2010. I don't remember when. It, I think Nintendo got the trademark. Which is or crazy because they showed the game and everything. <laughs> Platinum must have had something fucked up because they said, "Nope, we're not making this game." Oh, one of the crazy. best in the business. Naughty Dog is up next. Working hard, of course. Or hardly working. Who knows? Just kidding. They're working on factions. <sighs> working on factions. 
Um, they've been hiring for a bunch of new projects. Call me back when you're done with um, factions. They're, of course, working on that Last of Us 1 remake that all of us really want. Oh, my God, dude. This is, like, one of the most upsetting things to me in this entire industry. Is like, oh, what we saw two made so much Alex, money. That We're sentence well right there is one of the most angriest things I've ever said. <laughs> they're working on Last of Us Part 2 factions, and they're working on the Last of Us 1 remake. I want to... Hey. I hey, want to grab you know, my head you, and look, go through that wall. Look, you know what they're trying to do? They're trying uh, to pull a Kingdom Hearts and remaster it for every fucking console that it comes out for it. Oh, uh, I know. And then make a dumb rhythm game that nobody's going to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That got really personal at the end there. I do. I hope I hope a Last of Us rhythm game is made. I would love that. It's called, like, it interlude prologue master or something. It like. is. It's called Faction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I'm so excited to be right about this. And again, I don't want to be mean. I I really hope this is huge. Again, this is the Easy Achievers podcast. We never our, our intention is not to be mean. Our intention is I to like being mean. give us <laughs> our intention is to no, give I'm our joking. insight into the industry. Yeah. Look, I'm, I don't know aside, anything. Jokes so. aside, Naughty Dog, one of the best people out there. Yep. I do not want them making a factions game that everyone's gonna play for a weekend. I'm sorry. That's what's going to happen. No one is going to be playing this in three months. It's going to be. It's, it's like I feel like it's just they're so wasting much how good they are. They are the best studio ever to exist in, in the industry, period. The only thing that could maybe rival them is maybe a Nintendo, period. So, like, I don't want them making a factions game. And I don't want them remaking the first The Last of Us. So it looks kind of better. Sucker Punch more is trophies. the next one. We're more trophies, about. man. Yeah, we get more trophies. Uh, Sucker Punch is the next one. They're probably working on some sort of Ghost of Tsushima shit, okay? They already hired people for it. That You had to be an expert. And... We talked about this. Well, they're making a movie, aren't they? I thought, that, was, uh, Shish... I thought that wasn't true. Ghost wasn't, that a, movie? wasn't that a rumor? And then they said I, it no, wasn't? I, uh, I, I, I could have swore it was because they said they even the I dude think who was I'm playing thinking... Jin Evil was even in on it. I think I'm thinking of God of War. Sorry. I, I think, think I'm thinking of God of War that they said the God of War TV show was fake. Maybe I'm mm. mixing two stories in my head. If you want to go ahead and look that up, but they're definitely making Ghost of Tsushima 2. Yeah, God all... of War movie TV show not in the works to come from Sony. That's for God of War. Okay. I want to see Ghost of Tsushima. Tell me, tell me Ghost of Tsushima. But the, they Ghost, were all... Ghost of Tsushima movie announced helmed by John Wick's, I think, uh, let me see. John Wick something. John Wick's director. So there is making a movie. Did you see that Uncharted screenshot? Uncharted screenshot? Yeah. From no. the movie? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Didn't that look terrible? Didn't that look terrible? It just looks like Mark Wahlberg on the flashlight. It is. <laughs> it's just like, it is. He's just like... <laughs> oh, my God. I just wanted to bring that up because it looks... Guys, it looks really bad. Like, I'm sorry. I really hope it's good, but it looks it looks terrible. Did you see Tom Holland already said it was bad? Did you see that? He gave an so, interview to Esquire, I think, so and he already said it was bad. What? So he, no, not, now reason he said it was bad because he felt like he, he said that he thinks it's bad because he wasn't paying attention to the movie he, he was paying attention to how he how he was acting and he felt like he was acting bad so he worried about himself rather than the whole movie in general and that's what fucked it up that game's gonna suck sorry you mean movie movie sense but the uncharted one remake that they're working on is gonna be awesome ah <sighs> sony bend so it's funny because you were you're like uh, you're like oh no Last of Us one remaster but you want an Uncharted one remaster yeah you know why because that looks like a pile of garbage when I go back to play it looks like it was made in two thousand seven because it was very true That's so very true. not Last of Us looks like game the game still looks Last great. of Us one looks better than games that are launched now. Look, Last of Us 1, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I look like a mess. It does. I look like a mess here. I'm breaking down in front of the Achievers. I'm sorry. This is what E3 I like, brings from me. I like doing me. this to you. Uh, this is why I talk shit, because I, I, I like bringing the dark he side does. He does. He does, and it, he this knows exactly time, what to say to get me going. Sony, bend. 
Oh god, I'm still upset. <laughs> days gone too. Now it's days gone. That's gonna make me upset. Look, they came out. They said they're making a new IP. The, it was one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life because it definitely looked like a it. It looked like someone who was definitely yelled at and was like, hey, "All right, now write up an apology." Mm-hmm. Like it, like a red red like that yeah. where it's like, "Jesus, somebody yep, been come on." Working on a brand new IP, <laughs> open world. We love Days Gone, and we oh god, it's so sad reading. It's so sad reading that it's like Jesus, like Sony Ben blink twice if they're hitting you over there. Jesus, I really, I I hope I hope those people are happy. I, I know they were really upset after the Last of Us one thing. They want so much to do too. Oh god, Polyphony. I'm moving on. Polyphony Gears <laughs> Grand Turismo Seven. Moving on. Yeah, they're making grants. Uh, Alex, do you care? No. San uh, Diego made uh, MLB. Yeah. I'm at sports. London, <laughs> London studio. Um. Apparently, they're making. I didn't know any of this, so this is actually from that same Reddit. Um. Yep. They're making an existing, uh, game. Apparently. What? Uh, they're making a new multiplayer game. That's all we know, apparently, oh. um, from job listings on their website. Gotcha. Ugh. Pixel Opus. This is actually. Um, I know this actually. This is a. Uh, they were. They are bringing on people from Sony Animation to make the game. If you don't know who Sony Animation is, they they're like, like Sony Pictures, the people who make all the animated movies, uh, which is super hype. They're getting like basically. A plus quality artists to work on this. Let me get some movies that they've worked. I mean, let's see here. Uh, uh, recently, um, Mitchell's versus the Machines, Vivo, Wish Dragon, Ho- uh, Hotel Transylvania, Spider Man into the Spider Verse, um, K Pot Demon Heroes. I mean, the list goes on. Angry Birds. <laughs> okay, all right, Angry Birds. <laughs> that's. I mean, the, the, the quality is nice. I guess. Um. But that's super exciting. Good, good for Pixel Opus too. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm very excited for them. They of course made um, Alex, help me. The bully game. The kid was getting bullied. He was drawing stuff on a, on the wall. Oh, they um, came to life. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The achievers are sc- the achievers genie. are screaming at concrete us. Concrete genie. Yes, thank you. Concrete genie. Yeah, they make concrete genie. Said that three times. Okay, well, all right, Alex. Okay, a Sobe team is next. Okay, we're talking about a Sobe team. They're now making Astrobot games. That's oh, all so we fun. know. Yeah, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait for the next Astrobot game. And it's mm-hmm. gonna be uh, mark my words. This is another prediction. I guess it's not an E three prediction, but um, uh, the next the game we'll see from them will of course be Astrobot, but it will be a VR PlayStation game for the new VR, like like Rescue Mission. Yes, yeah, it will be yeah. a sequel to Rescue Mission, and it's going to be for the new VR game. I think that's guaranteed. Mm. They probably already have de- dev kits over there. Would be surprised yeah. if they oh, already yeah, have dev sure. kits for the uh, uh, new VR there. Did you see that Far Cry VR thing? I did. Was that released? Like, so all, was that announced and released in like the same day, or was that just like announced? I think it was uh, announced because okay. all that's all they showed was a quick thing of people, and it looked like for PlayStation because it had the little motion ball thing. Yeah. But that's all they showed. It was like a gun, and they had it connected to it. It didn't show like the, the headset because you know they did that thing where the headset's kind of like like you invisible. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Well, it's they, you see the person, but you see an outline, a dotted outline of the head, yeah. and it's yeah. So I don't know if it's for the new VR or for the come the one right now. Like I, I know they announced Far Cry VR. I saw that. I yeah. did not know the yeah, context, they- and I'll be honest, I didn't care. I, I meant to grab it for the show. Um, yeah. Haven Studios is one of their. Game, uh, studios that opened we know nothing they're literally hiring for the studio so there's nothing there firewalk is mm-hmm. another one um there's a bunch of um they're making a multiplayer game we know and it's gonna be an ip new ip but we don't know else um and blue point i think this is one of the one of the more exciting things because we don't know what it is um mm-hmm. i have reason to believe it's metal gear solid with a couple rumor things and stuff like that apparently blue point's next thing is going to be a remake of metal gear solid one which, whew, if that's true, that's very exciting. Silence from Alex. Okay. Silent thinking, approval. I was trying to think, silent approval. I was, well, I was trying to think of what other remaster would they even do right now. I don't think um, big on remasters. Because of course they did Demon Souls. They wouldn't do Silent Hill because Konami's doing that. 
Mm-hmm. They wouldn't do. There was a couple of rumored ones, and because their not, latest they're... one was Demon Souls, right? Was that Blue Point do that? I can't remember. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay, okay. I don't know why it took me so long to answer that. Yeah, they did. Okay. So like, I, I think that was the biggest one. Like that was the or the like that was the last thing they did. Well, yeah, and they they actually announced around Halloween that they were making two remaster projects. So mm-hmm. I think it's Metal Gear Solid One. I think that's. Uh, do you think it's just one, or do you think it's like a collection? I think it's just one. I think it's a okay. full Blue Point remake of Metal Gear Solid One, and I and I hope they're ready for everyone to ask them to make the next four games because that's what they were going to want. I, I would be very excited if they do that because I've never played them before, so I'm very hoping. I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised honestly if that's announced with PlayStation's thing. Hmm. What do you think? Uh probably, yeah. I like when are we supposed to be getting that? We don't know. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm assuming there's a PlayStation event around E3. There will be. I think it's guaranteed. I think it will be oh. around July, first week of July ish. They're gonna let E3 cool off, and then around July they're gonna come in and be like, "Here's our stuff, boom, bitch." So, man. you know how they were? Uh, what was that last tip? People that you said that they were working on the uh, bend was working on a new Uncharted project. I think yeah, was, well, yeah, because yeah, so they're re- so they were helping with the Last of Us one remake, but they were asked to be mm-hmm. taken off. You remember this was all in that like yeah, yeah, yeah. document. Well, the reason I was saying because Blue Point did the Uncharted collection. They did. Do you think one of the games that they did rumored or whatever could be uh, the collection for five? Instead of just doing Uncharted One, maybe because no. the collection was from Blue Point, so that's, they'll just redo the collection for five. No, all games four K sixty. No, I think Blue Point. I I think if they're making it because they're they're letting um, they were having it co made with Bend and someone else, and then they were asked to be taken off. So someone else is making a Charter One. They're remaking a Charter One for the movie. Mm. So I, I'm, maybe Blue Point is helping with it. I could see that. I guess. I guess I could see like half of their team being split up that finished Demon Souls helping mm-hmm. with this and maybe some other people helping and in, in doing Uncharted 1 with some other people. But yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. I really thought about it that way, uh, to be honest with you. But we know that Uncharted 1 is probably going to be finished roughly around the um, Uncharted movie. And we're mm-hmm. assuming The Last of Us 1 remake will be finished right around time this HBO series gets made. Give me PlayStation All-Stars too. Not gonna happen. Would be cool if Asobi made that though. Wouldn't be that be like random? Like they were like, yeah, we're just gonna make PlayStation Battle Royale, Battle Royale too. That's never gonna happen, mm-hmm. but that'd be so cool. I mean, one of the developers PlayStation isn't Blue fun Point. anymore, so that's not gonna happen. It, one of them was Blue Point. Again, PlayStation not fun anymore. Not gonna happen. That's, that's true. I mean, right. they're not coming to anything. They don't care about the, they're they just you know just killing everybody off. Sean Layden. Ah, <sighs> Sean, where are you? Where he's never coming back. He's, oh, he's, like, he's, he's saw, sipping martinis in the, ca- he's in the Caribbean. He literally saw PlayStation go, and he's like, okay, let me get out of here before that happens. <laughs> Nintendo. Now, Alex, Nintendo. I, don't know, I don't know dick about Nintendo. So this is all from separate sites, things like that, mm-hmm. heavily from that Reddit thing I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about this. This is So you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going a little soft on stuff like this because... Mm. I, I really want to talk about Retro Studios, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, yeah. They are making Prime 4. Uh, last time we've seen them, they were making Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen them since then. So I'd be <laughs> very excited if we do see a Metro Prime 4. Um, this is apparently working on ND Cube, which makes the Mario Party games. They are Rumors are saying they're making another Mario Party 2. Cool. Um, next level games. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that face. Ne- next level games is apparently working on another Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion, interesting. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really care about uh, Nintendo. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, Alex, those are one yeah. of those things where I just kind of passively listen. Uh, so I- <clears throat> I'm actually gonna skip this segment because again, I don't think I, you or I, can really give any feedback to this. I want to actually skip yeah. to something. Two K games. 2K games. Now, this was a big 2K. leak. 
it happened. And it leaked, for, I think, from like some a source that no one was like, we don't know if this is true, but mm. apparently one of the things is true. Um, do you remember Fire Axis, Alex? That's a Fire studio Axis? that they have. Interesting. I don't remember them. They're, cur- they're currently making an XCOM game with Marvel heroes. Interesting. Yeah, that is what they are currently making. Now, if you remember what XCOM is, and for people at home, driving, listening, sleeping. All of the above. All of the above. Good night. Um, if you don't know what XCOM is, essentially a strategy game. If you think of a strategy game, that key, classic grid cube-like movements and combat, they're apparently making a Marvel game with that. I, I definitely am excited if that's true. Yeah. What do you think about this? This was kind of stated to be true. We know it's probably real. I mean, is there anything else going on? Is this excited? You sound not excited at all. Don't want a strategy Marvel game? I've never been a big strategy guy, man. I think all the achievers definitely know that. You weren't very much into Gears Tactics either. I was. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't care for it at all. Yeah. So I, I I'll speak more. I gave to it like five minutes, and I was like, Neh. I'll speak more to this then, and and I'll get, I'll kick it back with this next one. I think you'll be really excited for. Um. So, I'll be more support with it with this Marvel game. I I think it's I think it's gonna it has a real potential of being good. Now, I think Marvel games has had a very good track record. If we don't look at Avengers, um, and picking people that make sense. Fire Access makes sense for this. This is the perfect studio to sit down and go, hey, we want you to take the Marvel heroes that you want. We want you to make it a very fun grid-based combat system and make it a strategy game. We want you to... Mm-hmm. And, and it's very much XCOM with Marvel heroes. And that's very exciting. Hoping to do it. Apparently, the code name was CODA. Don't know if that means anything, but that's very cool. So turn-based action. I'm definitely down to play that. Alex, code Hmm. name Volt. Does that mean anything to you? Code name Volt. Yeah, like Volt, like as a like a like a sealed Volt. Mm -hmm. No, no Volt's like V O L T, like the SMG. Mm. uh, So apparently, it's some game we don't know. It's made by Hangar Thirteen. Is is the possibility? And it's Cthulhu. Meets Saints Row. Yeah. So apparently from the leak, the game looks very early, but it's an open world sci-fi game with a bunch of weird supernatural things in it. Now, was Hangar 13 the ones who did Saints Row? Mafia. Mafia 3. Ma- Mafia. Mafia. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, people who made um, Saints Row were... Uh, Jesus. They're closed now. It started with a V. Volition, I think. It's been a long um, time since I've seen that logo. Too. I think it was. Yep. Yeah, it was. I'm on fire today. But uh, yeah, that that's one of the ones that I saw. Cool. Um, apparently, and the publisher was Deep Silver. So, do you think we'll yeah, ever Deep get Silver. another Saints Row game? That's a great question. So I have a feeling they could bring it back. So they already said the next Saints Row game is not going to be here this year. They already said that. Okay. We know it's being worked on. The rumor is it is in um it's separate from any other game, so they are rebooting the franchise and it's set in um some sort of coastal city, I think is what they said. I don't remember, but this was a heavy rumor. So I it was one of those things where I didn't even want to bring up cuz it's like it doesn't this isn't backed up by anything, so mm-hmm. yeah, they yeah, they said Dead Island 2, Saints Row 5, Metro and Time Splitters won't be showcased this year. Yes, I actually have that in the docs, I think. Um, ready for the actual Easy Achievers show for the week. But yep. Yeah, I don't have much to say about that. I, I, I'm, mm-hmm. it's, Saints Row is one of those games where like I need to see it. Because yeah. just talking about Saints Row, well, we've been we talking about Saints Row for a long time, Alex. Get Out of Hell came out, I mean, Jesus, 27? Well, the, get out, the, get, the Get Out of Hell came out after or before Saints Row 4? After. Because remember, Saints Row 4, Gat dies. That's right. Get Out of Hell came out when... Tell me, internets. Hmm. 2015. Jesus. That tells you a lot, right? I mean, Jesus. It's been six years since we've seen a Saints Row. And then when did Saints Row 4 come out then? 
which to be fair, I mean, 2013, you know, seen, really? I mean, we've seen games go longer. Remember saying Red Dead 1? I mean, that was forever until we got two. I mean, yeah, I mean, and also they were made with um, THQ. So, I mean, they were in that fire sale conundrum. So, mm -hmm. someone got that IP and then dumped all the content and remade the game. So, mm -hmm. lots to think about that. Wonderland's codename Daffodil. Borderlands spin off title featuring Tiny Tina. Oh. And the final title could be called Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Mm -hmm. Um,. And it, apparently that's been trademarked by Gearbox, so you know mm -hmm. probably what it is. Uh, and it looks like a it looks like a similar Borderlands title. Yeah, they should they teased a, a a silhouette picture for the movie. I saw that. And it looked pretty. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. It looks fine. <laughs> um, if you if you care, NBA like... Two K Twenty Two is also related. Um, Dirk Nowitzki will be this Dirk. year's cover athlete. I don't know people. Alex, that's a lot of what I already have for you. So I'm, we covered a lot. This is one of the longest episodes we've done. Um, talking E3, about an man. hour and ten, and I'm pretty happy with what we talked about, Alex. Now, <clears throat> we've talked a lot. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting out of all this? Is it, we, we went through each studio. We've did a small expectations thing. I'm very excited. Is there something that we may have missed that you're like, ah, you know, I'm really thinking we might get, get this. Is there something that's been sticking with you ever since we've gone over it? I think, I think I Halo mean, is really did what's... Say, did you mention Square? I did not mention Square. Do you want to talk about it? I'm definitely down to talk about it. I mean, it. I forget what they're, we're going to do because aren't they so going to show off the, Final Fantasy 16? So the rumor is they're showing off... Um, here, actually, I have it in the docket prep for the actual show but mm -hmm. i will actually just break it down with you alex because you know what i like you like awesome. i like what you're made of so this is what they officially said they're going to be talking about this of course not everything they're going to be talking about they did not want to ruin the show but they wanted to give mm -hmm. you a small glimpse we're going to see a new game by idos montreal we're going to see an update on babylon's fall we're going to see new details on marvel's adventures expansion black panther war for wakanda that's quite the mouthful. I'll play the game once that DLC comes out and never go to it again. And more in-game events. <laughs> also, deep dive in Life is Strange True Colors and the first look at Life is Strange Remastered Collection. Interesting. That is everything expected at the Square Enix Conference. Who? What Warner are you Brothers? thinking? What are you thinking? It, one, you, uh, now, Warner Brothers, do you think they're going to show Gotham Knights again? Alex, I love you, you know, because mm -hmm. I, 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 what I thought about this was we're already talking about the big three. Mm -hmm. Should we stop there? Should we not? And you know what? You're pulling me back in. You're pulling, you got me by my shirt. You're pulling me look, back in. You look, know look, what? I want to talk about it. So let's look, get into it. People we still got to talk about. We still You're got right. Ubisoft. We still got Warner Brothers. The achievers agree with you. I know I hear them in my head. My but therapist like, yeah, says it, it should, it, I shouldn't be, but I know it is. <laughs> Where Enix? Final Fantasy Origins, is it real? I believe Jason Schreier. He has a pretty yep. great track record, and he wouldn't talk about stuff if it wasn't real. Dark, so Dark Souls-like combat. More open, I would say, very close to maybe a mixture of some sort of King Hearts-like experience where you're not really getting that classic RPG-ish experience from a mm -hmm. Final Fantasy game. You're, you're getting more of a Dark Souls-y. Yeah. Like, do you believe Jason Schreier, or are you eh, kind of like whatever? I you wouldn't be the only one. I have seen some trepidation over the internet saying if this is even real or not. I think it is real. I just don't know because they could. Because you know, is it Square or I think it was Nintendo? They were like they can get, they get mad with leaks, so like they're like, oh, if you leak it, we're not taking it out, and they just won't release it. I think and I think it was Nintendo that did that once, because I I forget what it was though. But I you get it's I don't know I don't know how each studio or developer like take um I don't know rumors and stuff like that because I, I they're like oh you know you're gonna keep talking like you know it's this is the game or you're gonna keep leaking it I mean obviously you can't wait <laughs> they, they they just get mad and won't release it so they just change it. 
so Inter- I don't know. Interesting and in, introspective on that. I, I don't think um, just because something is leaked that changes literally anything. They might change some PR stuff. I don't think I changed it much about stuff like that. So, well, wasn't I, it? Didn't it happen before? Like I thought it was like Nintendo got mad that something got leaked before and they just never released it. I don't it think was, so. Like, I, I thought there was a certain know. game. Achievers, if you've ever heard about that, comment it, please. I, I would I love to learn it. about that, but I don't believe anything I said. I mean, that's a lot of money to just be throwing away. So, um, but uh, uh, I was trying to find information on Square Enix. I can't really find much on what to expect. Um, of course, we have the usual spec specs of Final Fantasy 16. I think we do have a chance of seeing some gameplay of that. Now, remember, that's a PlayStation exclusive. Um, uh, Sony played a lot of money for that, so that's what to expect there. Um, Babylon Fall was that dope looking game from a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm very excited for that. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm inclined to believe the Final Fantasy Origins thing. It's going to be shown off, it's probably real. I don't, I can't think of anything that would even remotely to a release date because I just don't know the teams like as well as mm-hmm. I do with um, Xbox and PlayStation. I know those studios very well and I know when they start projects with Square Enix. I'm very more, uh, much more ignorant comparatively. Maybe mm-hmm. they announce a new Kingdom Hearts. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would wish, I wish, I wish. And uh, anything else to leave with Square Enix socks? Mm-mm. I think Life is Strange uh, True Colors will be cool. Um, it doesn't look as cool as Sam or Chloe, but or Max. Sorry, it's Max, Max, and, yeah. Max and Chloe. So yeah, that's disappointing, like, but Sam. <laughs> I don't know. But oh, uh, Neo Worlds ends with you. I know that's very popular. Um, I have never been into those. So I don't me, know. me either. Um, we probably should be because that's going to be probably the next big Pain of Hearts game. Yeah. yeah, we know they're working. Uh, we know uh, here really quickly. We know they're working on the next Kingdom Hearts project from just leaks and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and we know it's not a spin offy game. It is a like direct sequel. Direct sequel. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts direct always- sequel with with it's a new story arc because the the Xehanort, the 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 Xehanort stuff that's all done. Right. Yeah. I I think this next arc is Master with Masters. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we're getting through that. It's like think about is like think of um, Marvel's recent movies. Yeah. The, Infin- uh, Infinity Infin- Saga. Infinity, Infinity Saga. That's done. So mm-hmm. now Phase Four starting. That's going to be a whole different thing. I def I definitely agree with what you're saying. I for sure agree. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um, I don't really have much else. Do you, do you have some sort of insight, Alex? No. Um, I know I'm that, excited for Final Fantasy 16. That was about it. Me too. I I'm really I'm I don't know why. I want to see I want to see gameplay for it. I'm re- I don't know why though. I'm really excited for this game. I think it's I no back to like instead of the futuristic stuff, it's, it's back classic. to like the whole classic. Yeah, because we've really gotten that style since 13. Mm-hmm. And I'm really hoping we get like a 10 feel from this. I'm really hoping. Oh god, yeah. I'm getting myself excited. <sighs> Alex, you mm-hmm. wanted to talk about Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. They're having their Ubisoft forward. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited for them not to talk about Splinter Cell. Can you, really, let's take a second. Can you believe there's not a Splinter Cell game currently being made right now? Achievers? Still not happening. Do you believe that? Where do they get off? They can make it just do this to us? Anyways... Let's get their studios up, Alex, because I don't know. Mm-hmm. I know they have Ubisoft Montreal. I know they have uh, Quebec. Most likely, they're going to talk about how they're rework. They're going to fix Watch Dogs. I'm pretty sure. They'll be like, oh, there's going to be a patch for it. <sighs> I can see them announcing season pass stuff. I mean, that, they're not going to say patch stuff. It's not, that that wasn't received like um, Cyberpunk. I bl- blanked on the job. Um, but yeah, they have the Ubisoft Montreal. They have the San Francisco studio. Let's see. They got here. Far Cry Six. This is a jumbled mess. Do you think? Do you think we're gonna see more Far Cry Six stuff? We already got that deep dive, but yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, they have a whole forward to. <clears throat> sorry. I think they have a whole forward do, to fill in. So, like, what else are they gonna talk about? I mean, they can show like what they uh, what people normally do like instead of the deep dive they'll probably do like a little section of the game and be like and just you'll do the from their somebody playing the game i mean that's the only thing else i could think of 
I'm trying to think of what would they show. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is one of those... When was that game last no It's about. one of those things where it's like, if, it, if it's there... It should, I don't even know if that game's ever coming out at this point. It might be one of those stuck in hell games where like... Like Last Guardian, where it takes 10 mm-hmm. years to make the game. Who knows? Um, I think they're talking about more DLC for Valhalla. Because uh, the next one is the Paris one, right? Yeah, they might. They might. They might show off that I one I don't know. Bit. I'm struggling to think of what's Ubisoft going to be here for. I mean, we have... So Rainbow Six. Quarantine. They have to yeah, show quarantine. that again, right? Yep, yep, yep. They definitely have to show that again. I hope they I hope they do another South Park game. Um, That's not going to happen. The, but... yeah, that rumor Division Heartland thing. The yeah, free-to-play. the free-to-play thing. They just announced mm-hmm. and walked away. It's like... What is this game? Goodbye. It's like, what? No, come back. I want to know what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll probably show that. Um, There was that free-to-play sports game, Roller Champions. Yes. Yeah. They had that. It's a free-to-play competitive sports game. Did that come out? No, right? No. No? No, apparently. Okay, here we go. Uh, Ubisoft's free-to-play competitive sports game Roller Champions is set to take on Rocket League, also seen closed in alpha beta test so far. Riders Republic. Ah, just, that just hit my head. They're going to yeah, talk the, about the, that for sure. Their bikes and stuff, mm-hmm. yeah. that, it looks like a steep almost. but like it, it got delayed, so we won't see Skull and Bones. Alex, Achievers, don't worry. I've muted Alex, so he doesn't. he's not going to hear this. He won't get his hurt feelings hurt. He's really into the Skull and Ball things. Not really sure what it's about or where it even stemmed from. I, I was with him when it was first released. In the first 10 seconds, I saw it because it looked like Black Flag, and then it immediately wasn't, and I immediately turned it off, and I never remember that. But for some reason, he's really into it. I don't know why. Don't worry. I'm unmuting him now, so so he's not even going to know this conversation happen. <clears throat> um, so I'm really hoping South Park is back, Alex. You but... said something? Oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, so the uh, uh, South Park won't come back. Yeah, yeah, it, it won't. It won't. I'm, it's one of those games where like I want to hold it, you know, mm-hmm. just in case it happens again. It's not though. It's not. Mm-mm. Did we see a Ghost Recon? No, right. I mean, <laughs> you're you're like, why? No, we're not seeing Assassin's Creed. Jesus, what? It, what <sighs> Um, was we know we're getting a Ubisoft, Ubisoft Star Wars game, but, we're, okay, but that's say, not... they're the ones doing a Star Wars game, right? Yeah, An Avatar but I mean, project. Yeah. But they can set it when the movie. Those comes are so out early, finally, so they can't show any of that. It comes out with the fucking five movies that were supposed to come out ten years ago, and they finally <laughs> coming out. Are they? They they're always all they're always coming out. I, yeah. I, <laughs> do you know what's weird? Do you know why they're not coming out? It's because he's been working on all f- the other four. At the same time, so when he releases two, I don't believe him. The next year he released three. The next year he releases four, just so he can make that money. How much you want to bet? Every year it's gonna be a yearly release. I just three, don't four, believe five. this gentleman is ever gonna release these games. I just don't. Just Movies. Don't. Both. How about that? Um, that that too. That How too, about that, too. that, Alex? Both. Mm. you got anything else for me alex i'm really struggling we know they're not working on a splinter cell game because they hate us and they just want us all to burn in hell um but really um, i have we'll get no another, idea we'll, we'll we know we're gonna get another just dance i'm it's gonna it, start with just dance i think we're gonna get an even deeper dive into far cry 6 we're gonna see rainbow six we're gonna see updates from assassin's creed R- writer's republic probably you see, yeah. Chiba does he doesn't even go by. He doesn't even say Just Dance because he's so annoyed about it. Just Dance is always there, so I guess they and it's annoying because they always they always start with it. It's because they want it out the way. You know what I mean? They know we don't want to watch they it, but they got to show the it. They, 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 but they got to show it. They got to. Though. They have to. They have no choice. Like nobody, nobody's gonna fucking dance with a video game. Well, I if they're gonna that. dance, I mean, like make Zumba. Then I mean, come on. Come on. At least you're getting just, some exercise. Just Dance is huge. Count. You're getting exercise when you're playing Just Dance. I want to see you dance to Lady Yaga and not break a sweat. All right? Lady Yaga, cool. I hate you. <clears throat> no, I do not care for this dance. Alex, you got my nipples slightly enlarged earlier when you said the words... Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. 
Let's get back to that, please. It's gonna get. It's gonna. Let's get, get back to that, please. You know what it's I'm saying? Get, it's gonna get delayed. Alex. <sighs> Rumor. Mm-hmm. Has it. Mm-hmm. Xbox is buying IPs. Now, we know I Warner got, I got Brothers. My rock eyebrow on. Uh, we know Warner Brothers skipping off some studios. Not saying those two are related, but I'm not saying they're not. You know what I'm saying? For real though, I uh, there are rumors that some IP will be shown, and they bought stuff. Hmm. We have no. I I can't I can't report on that, so I'm not going to. Um, it was said on a podcast called Defining Duke. Um, a gentleman named by Carrick said these things. Can't report on things that are just that very vague. Just saying one thing mm-hmm. might happen somewhere. In, I don't want to talk about that, but I do want to talk about Gotham Knights. They're in a weird limbo. This and Hogwarts Legacy. I'm mm-hmm. doing this with my fingers. Don't know why. No. But they're in a limbo mm-hmm. with this weird purchasing. at and keeping some of them. Some aren't. Blah, blah, blah. What are your thoughts you know on what, this? You These know what are... I can see? I can see Hogwarts Legacy being an exclusive to a, a certain studio. Or like, or excuse me, to a, like Xbox or PlayStation. Most likely on the Xbox side, I feel like. I don't see exclusive. I see Game Pass, if anything. I think well, we that, could... I mean, isn't that still exclusive? Because you can't get Game Pass on PlayStation. No, 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 no. You confuse... Release on both Game Pass on Xbox. So oh, Hogwarts Legacy okay. launches on PlayStation, launches got on it. Xbox. Hogwarts Legacy yeah. goes on Game Pass. I do not think we are... That'd be wild, but I've said this for a long time. Uh, it, it, the achievers know. I actually thought when they were when we saw uh, Microsoft was gearing up to buy Bethesda, mm-hmm. before we knew they bought Bethesda, I thought they were going to buy the entire Warner Brothers branch of studios and their mm-hmm. IP and have specific dates and like dealings with them to like have Batman as an exclusive. I was wildly wrong, but. I might almost now be right where like maybe they did let go of a studio that was currently working on something. Maybe they bought the IP for Batman or Gotham Knights or something crazy. I don't know. And I'm very excited to figure out what that is. Now, Gotham Knights was delayed. Hogwarts Legacy was delayed. We do not know when Hogwarts Legacy technically for sure is releasing. All they said was it was delayed to 2023. So, mm. And we know that uh, Gotham Knights is delayed to next year. Mm. Uh, Warner Brothers is not currently on the schedule for anything else huge. I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, there's no way there's gonna be a Mortal, a Mortal Kombat anytime soon. I feel like a lot Alex. Is still a big... Thank mm. you, Alex. I love you so much. My God, bro. You don't know how much mm. I've said this in this. Mm. There's a rumor that. The Ed Boon is making a Marvel game. Mm-hmm. If you want to get even crazier, the rumor is it's an Injustice versus Marvel character. Oh. DC versus Marvel in a video game. I don't believe Can it. Can they do that? I don't. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You have Marvel versus Capcom. Like you can, if you first off, if you've got enough of this, you make anything happen. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a, I can go play a video game where I play as a small child and fight black heartlesses in Hercules' world. So if you could do that, that's true. You could definitely figure out something where Spider Man punches Superman for 20 minutes. Again, I don't believe it. Netherrealm, I do not believe is making a Marvel versus DC game. Now, Alex, do me a favor, cut this out. When I'm wrong, I want this played on our YouTube channels, and we're gonna be celebrating that I'm wrong. But like they're not. There is not going to be Marvel vs. DC. I think. So, <clears throat> so the the way we know this, Alex, Ed Boon retweeted James Gunn's tweet about Suicide Squad, mm-hmm. and he said, "Wow, uh, that's very. It's very. I'm paraphrasing. Very cool that he is. Hey, he has worked on both a Marvel and DC property." Mm-hmm. And with one of these emojis, with a little thinking head for the audio listeners, the little thinking oh. head emoji that's like this. Yeah. So he's being very tongue in cheek, being pretty obvious. He's p- 
probably working on something for Marvel. So, mm-hmm. are we going to get a Marvel fighting game? I think so. What do you think? Am I crazy? Hmm. Could it be a Ultimate Alliance type game instead of a, mm. a fighting game like 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 Mortal Kombat? What does that mean? Uh, like mm, I don't know. I you go to Nether Realm for a fighting game. I guess. You don't go yeah, to Nether Realm for that's true. fucking. That's true. Forget Nether Realm. Let's do an RPG, and then Ed Boon's gonna. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna get vulgar. But uh, no, I, I he's gonna. That's true. He, yeah, they they go to them. They go to the master to to do the master thing. So yeah. I am inclined to believe this kind of tongue in cheek rumor thingy. So I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if it's Squad announced. Versus Fantastic Four. There's your game. I'd play it. I'd buy it. <laughs> I know you would. Without an ounce of shame in my body. Mm hmm. It's the Suicide Squad from the past movie. <laughs> um yeah that's i mean lego skywalker saga is going to be shown probably uh, you know that's not very exciting though yeah. is it going to release ever no no they're going to say it's delayed till next year that'd be wouldn't that be awesome if they did that it's crazy because what it's 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 they're not even it's not like they're redoing all the games are they they're just putting them all in one thing uh, no, they're, they're right. no. This is a new project. I'm pretty sure. I thought it was just all seven or eight games, just all together. The way I read it could be wrong. If you want to search this, but I'm, as far as I understand, the Skywalker Saga is them redoing all of the games. It's not like they're grabbing the first six movies, uh, Lego movies, and and just putting it into a collection. They made a whole. They made all new games. For these movies, let's see. Please, if if that's not it, that makes it unexcusable why they've had to delay so many times. So I'm pretty sure I'm right. Pretty sure again. Probably. Not. I'm not gonna say I'm confident in that. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Interesting. Okay. I just, I just wanted to make sure because I do not want to replay the first th- two or three that doesn't have talking. I, just, I and... understand. I understand. I understand. Do you think we see and... anything from Monolith? These, of course, made Shadow of War. No. Really? What did they make they... last? Was it Shadow of War? Monolith? Yeah. yeah. Monolith. WB Games. They have to be due for a video game, Alex. Right? Like, me... What are they doing I mean... over there? I mean, yeah, Shadow War, Shadow Motor, Fear, Condemned, Gotham City Imposters. Oh, remember that game? I loved Gotham City that Imposters. Was, dude. That was that was fun for like. That was stupid fun. It, it was dumb it was, fun. You know, that's a perfect way of describing that. That was dumb fun. Like just you sit back, relax. Fear. No, don't. 2017 Middle Earth Shadow War was the last game they made. We haven't seen them in four years. It's because they're like, nah. Four years we haven't we seen fuck, them. Not we even a peep. Up on our mic- we fucked up on our little, uh, not microtransactions, but the little. Uh, no, it little was microtransactions. Box. It was a microtransaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you had to like buy stuff to be strong. Mm-hmm, you had yeah. to like protect your base. It's like, come on. No one wants to do this. Yeah. Uh, I think we see something game. from Monolith. I think we do. I don't know where. Um. If I'm being honest, E3 schedule. Let's get that up really quickly. Um, uh, oh, uh, as a reminder, the Summer Game Fest hosted by Jeff Keighley is also mm-hmm. being shown. So a mixture of this is, of course, at the E3. A mixture of this is going to be at that Jeff Keighley event. So make sure to check it out if you're a big fan of these. Oh, you are. I mean, Monolith Soft did work, develop X, Xenoblade Chronicles X. The, no, no. Uh, those are two different studios. Are they? Yeah, so Mon- so Monolith and then uh-huh. Monolith Soft is a uh-huh. Nintendo studio. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Very confusing. I do not blame you. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, Monolith is owned by WB Games. Got it. Okay, so let's start. Oh, my God. The ads. This is Forbes, guys. Forbes. Enter Immersive Reader. Get all these ads off my screen. 
I'm sorry, Achievers. I'm trying to get you hard-hitting content. Forbes wants to hit me with 20, 20 things at once. Apparently, sometime last year, they did say that Monolith was working on something. They said their next game was an open world evolved nemesis system and more that's all it was, it was an, that was in october 2020 they said mm. and then what does that mean was, it was the shadow war thing i'm assuming another shadow of game right they ended it yeah. with a cliffhanger yeah because apparently in uh in 2020 there was like three recent job listings were revealed the, that monolith productions was currently working on something and they had uh they've been quiet since 2017 but I'm assuming from the job listings that they're working on something. I mean, they're for sure working on something. They're sitting there on their asses. So, I mean, they're working on something. The answer I mean, is what? I wouldn't be surprised if another Shadow of game. I can't think of... I mean, we. it's one of those things where they've been pretty tight-lipped. I don't think I've heard of anything. So, it could be literally any game. We don't know. Um, let's start off with some scheduling stuff for E3. Ubisoft Gearbox is the pre-show that starts uh, June 12th, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, 1 p.m. Eastern, of course. And then <clears throat> Sunday, June 13th, we have Microsoft and Bethesda Square Enix PC Gaming Show, Future Game Show, and Warner Brothers Games. Microsoft starts 10 a.m., 1 p.m. Pacific, Square Enix 12.15 a.m., 3.15 Pacific. Uh, sorry, Eastern. And PC Gaming Show does not have a time. Future Games Show, 4 p.m. Pacific to 7 p.m. Eastern. Monday, June 14th, Capcom doesn't have a time. Take two diversity, e equity, and inclusion panel. Okay. Um, Tuesday, June 15th, Nintendo Direct. They have a whole Direct, Alex. Do you think Good. we're going to have a Switch Pro by then? No. I don't think so either. I think they will announce it soon. We know they're not announcing it at that Direct. They said specifically in their tweet... This is focused on software, is what they said. I mean, well, I figure like they said that just so they don't get people's hopes up. Yeah, uh, for sure. I think I agree so, with that. I mean, they could, I feel like they could do it, like they'll do that thing where the dude is like, oh, we have one more thing for you. And they just snaps his finger and then it just starts doing a little panoramic that's a, that sounds of, the, like of, the, of the screen. And then it shows the joysticks and then it shows the back with the logo and then it goes boom and then it shows it. And that's it. No date, no nothing. It just shows you the the, uh, the no. console and the name. That's it. No. No. I refuse. Sounds like sounds pretty realistic. What I said though. Yeah, it does. I could see them doing that, but I, I just don't. I don't think that's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. But not very Nintendo. Nintendo likes to just announce if, do, look, shit in a they, newsletter. Look, if they don't announce it now at E three, will they announce it at all the at the uh, this year? Yeah, Nintendo can kind of just do what they want, you know. Nintendo could announce it as of really, as a recording. It's twelve oh seven a.m. They can announce it at twelve oh eight a.m. You know what's gonna happen? Every editor is gonna slap their like news people awake and go like, "Wake up, Switch Pro!" And they're, and they're gonna like go and they're gonna write all this Switch Pro stuff. So they, Nintendo could do whatever they want. You know why? Because they sold like what was the time? They've sold all, like eighty. What was it? Numbers. A lot of switches. <laughs> They've sold Numbers. a lot of switches. Look at me. I'm a mess. Uh, uh Bandai Namco. They're gonna show Elden Ring. Take it to the bank. You'll finally see what that game is. Now you can shut the fuck up about it. E3 2021 award show. Yeah, they're having a award show for some reason. Uh, why? I don't know why. Who cares? Is it right? like the Game Awards? Are they going to show trailers or is it just an award thing? Like what? What's the point? I assume it's just awards to have fun, you know? Okay. I don't want to be a just... Debbie Downer. I wish I could give awards. Well, I'm wondering like if are they going to show like trailers and stuff of games that they haven't seen before? Because I'm like, if that's... if They've I never done one before. before. They're ripping oh. off Jeff Keighley. That he should sue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff Keighley, don't sue. Have fun. He wouldn't sue them. He's very watch nice. Be the, He's watch nice. Him be the host. Jeff Keighley seems like one of those guys that he seems really nice. They like, like if you yeah. asked him, like, hey, would like, do you want to like grab a beer and just talk? Like, he definitely would. And then he, so he'll be that for you're probably not going to understand this, but there's an episode of Friends, and it's a, you remember you know the actor Ben Stiller? Yeah. He's in that show. And he got he's big ears. He pretends to be like the fucking nicest guy, like, and he's like a boyfriend of, of one of the girls. 
and he's like nicest at where they're all around and then they all disappear and then he's like a dick like somebody like literally is like he's like yelling in their face and he's just a huge dick i feel like that's how jeff Keeley is like if everybody's around he's so nice and then out of nowhere he just could be like when nobody's not looking he's just gonna throw a kid's ice cream on the floor jeff Keeley, would you do that no no he would he's a super nice guy <laughs> wouldn't it been awesome if he tweets like yeah yeah um for some reason the summer game fest does not work on microsoft edge Jeff Keeley, that upsets me. Please fix that. I'm having to go to CNET now. I don't want to give them the clicks. I want to give you clicks, my good man. You pay good ad bucks for these things. All right. Uh, this is going to go from... What? This what is wrong. This is wrong. Sorry. I was going to give the Achievers the Summer Game Fest times. Mm. Um, none of this is right. So they, they go 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, sorry. It starts 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, Thursday, 10th of June. They got UK stuff up. It's annoying. Um, they're also saying it starts with the Microsoft. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this, but both um, Summer Game Fest and E3 are saying that both of them are doing the e uh, Microsoft conference as like their thing. It's hilarious. Alex, that's E3. We've kind of talked about everything known to man. Uh, I can't think of something we've really missed. Um, and if we missed it, it can't be that important, right? Right. Right? Uh, God, right? Someone say right. Right. Thank God. God. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. First off, if you've made it this far, first off, you're a great achiever. Thank you so much. Please give yourself a break. Get some water. We love you so much for getting yep. this so far deep. Leave us some comments. We'd love to interact about E3. We love talking about this stuff. So like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend if you want. Talk about E3 stuff. Get hyped with us. Get excited. We're going to try and post as much E3 things as possible. I'm definitely expect, expect definitely a full-on reactions from us about that big O Xbox conference. Very excited for this, Alex. I hope you join me for that. I know you have a very difficult schedule. So I know I am free for that day. So let me know if you're gonna watch it with me i would try my best thank you so much alex that's all i can ask she was let us know what did you think we got right what did you think we got wrong what's that one thing we might have missed like comment subscribe remember patreon.com is how you help us financially remember only do it if you can though it's in the middle we're getting over the pandemic it's getting back to normal a little bit so remember make sure you look at your finances before you do anything like that pennies a day helps us immensely only a dollar a month that gets you the lady patreon dm us question comments concern thought and or idea straight to that patreon dm i will answer it i might feature on the show and i might read your comment aloud who knows alex mm. anything i missed i don't think so i did miss one thing mm. go chief go chief